day 635 still alive barely <laughs> Not barely I'm doing all right just mentally and physically drained it was tough to get up today I got to bed around 1130 go and then had the alarm set for 645 so it's pretty much just enough time to get up walk the pup Get ready. Oh, where'd my phone roller go? Ugh, phone roller. And then head to the race. Jennifer was doing the 10K, and she mentioned that her cousin or nephew had a potential 5K that they needed someone to run, so I was thinking maybe. I'll run again and just use it. I don't know, not like, kind of like a flush at the legs out. Maybe I'll just kind of do some pace work with off and on. But I didn't have any interest in trying to race anything today. It was really nice to just sleep in my own bed for one after <laughs> having the camping cold camping experience. My babies. But you didn't get to go, I'm sorry. Come up here. Come. On. Come here. And then I don't know, I guess it's just the mental of trying to get ready for a race. But just went to support and then I thought maybe I'll do a few miles but Mentally, physically, I just wanted to rest. <laughs> Again, I'm a little short on miles. I only got in 27 this week, so it's definitely uh, eight miles short of what I the goal was. But uh, just a lot of pace work, and a lot of miles before, and it didn't help that I had Tuesday and Wednesday off. So any one of those days I could have gotten five or six. So I could have been that much closer, but you can't make it all up in one day. Then got the three TV half marathon coming up. That will be on Sunday, I believe. So I'm just trying to get in some quality miles this week. Try to recover a little bit Friday, Saturday, and then see where I'm at on Sunday don't have big plans to try to run fast. I mean, I think the last time I ran, the only time I raced the half marathon, it was a 122 or 123. So we'll see what happens. Gotta get, gotta start eating well, I'm trying to eat a little bit more the veggies and try to stay away from the snacks. But just after this weekend, it just it feels so good just to have snacks again. Just like this is deserved. This is <laughs> that much tastier. Having to go through a little extra struggle of <clears throat> lack of rest or recovery, and just challenging myself more in that aspect. So, but gonna try to create some more time this week to just sit down, relax, maybe do some stretching and make sure I'm ready to go for this half. Because the last thing I want to do is race the 13.1 and then struggle or have something go wrong. Or I know last time I ran it, I was trying to break it up into parts and just do the first three to four miles almost as a warm up next three or four miles pick it up just a little bit and then really try to hammer home the last three or four and just try to finish hang on strong from there but I think by mile three or four I, I tried to push the pace because it was I was with the pack and they took off a little bit and I tried to go with them and then my IT band my left IT specifically tightened up 
And so it was just one of those things I said, okay, this is the pace, so I'm just gonna hang on today. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna try to get some more range of motion going on my both sides, that way I'm not overstretching or understretching any one side. And then see what happens on Sunday. But no day off tomorrow. Our work has given us, is it, I believe it's Veterans Day on Friday. And so everyone has Friday off. No one has the flex schedule. And Friday should be fun. I think that might be a long run day. I might, might do 10-ish miles and then just three or four on Saturday and then really try to have a good run Sunday, race Sunday, which I don't know, I'm going to have to work that out. I told someone that I would race, I would run, run along with them on Friday, but I wasn't anticipating that I'd have a race on Sunday. And I also told another friend that we'd run on Wednesday. And I don't think that's going to work either because they wanted to run I think they said 13 miles. It's like, I don't know how you're going to try to run 13 miles around 7 o'clock at night. That's just too many miles to run after work <laughs> and still have to go to work the next day. I mean, yeah, sure, if you had time to stay up later and eat later and recover, but yeah, I mean, that, that's probably going to get bumped down to 6 or 7 miles max. We'll see. We'll have to have a talk about that. But my hand still hurts. It's, again, I think that guy grabbed it and then it was like a slight twist. Just grabbed and then we just slipped hands and then he was trying to hang on. And a slight little twist just did something to my the veins on that side. So, at least it's not discolored. There's no discoloration, but it definitely has a hard time with these three fingers to try to close. It just doesn't feel right. So I'm just trying, trying to relax it all day, not trying to stress it out. I haven't done any pull-ups or push-ups yet. I don't know if that's gonna stress it out, but we'll see tomorrow. I just wanted to give it at least 24 hours rest. Maybe it was a small tweak. But that's where I'm at right now. Definitely got in a lot of rest today. After that the run this morning, we were watching Jennifer run, went to Chili's, ate pretty good. I had a grilled chicken sandwich with avocado. I had a bunch of chips and salsa. Came back with a pup for about an hour, and then I just said, all right, I'm going to go lay down. And I passed out again from about 1 to 5. 5.30, and then we went for a little 15, 10, 15 minute walk outside. It was kind of that golden hour, right? So just the sun was getting ready to set, really nice outside, and I was just thinking, man, if I would have gotten up at 3 or 3.30, I could have hung out a little bit, hydrated, and I think gone for a run right now, but I just, oh, I'm not feeling it right now. So there's no run today, just complete recovery day gonna get back into it tomorrow and hopefully the legs are responsive because I know they're tired and I thrashed them a little bit going up on some of those trails at that pace and I haven't done enough trails to I think warrant that much back-to-back -back running but it was fun glad to go oh my god but I'm glad I'm a little tired, and it's only 10.09, so hopefully I can fall asleep before midnight, maybe even before 11. <laughs> Surround your life with health and happiness, and have a good night.